Welcome to DIY Sci. I'm Steve Spangler, and we are at the world headquarters of Steve Spangler Science, where I've selected some of my favorite science experiments, some that you haven't seen before. They're guaranteed to fool your friends and easy to be able to make at home. Here's what you're gonna need, balloons and a candle. I know, a weird combination. Light the candle, and while you're getting a good burn on the candle, blow up the balloon. Nice. All right, what's gonna happen when we get the candle and the balloon in close proximity? Here we go. I didn't even have to touch it and it explodes. Well, that's not a, a big mystery, right? Because of course the candle burned the latex. What if we just changed it up a tiny little bit? If I told you the secret was as simple as a little bit of water. Watch, new balloon and fill the balloon with water. So watch, we're just gonna pour the water into the balloon. Good, like this. Good. Great, seems to be about right. And now blow up the balloon. All right, I like using the clear balloon because you can see what's going on inside. If you wanted to do this as a mystery, you could have the balloon blown up and don't show somebody that there's water in the bottom, but watch what happens. Here's what's amazing when you just add a little bit of water. All right, the candle's going. You know the heat is going to burn through the bottom, except water is a great conductor of heat. Look at this. The water actually robs the energy away and pulls the heat away from that latex there and the water's absorbing that heat energy. If you look at this, I can get closer and closer. Look, I'm touching the latex with the candle and the water is pulling the heat away from the latex and keeping the balloon from popping. Look at the soot on the bottom here. This proves that the candle touched the latex, but the water absorbed the heat. Keeping the latex perfectly safe. You know, this has got me thinking, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. And that means I need Higgins. Higgins, you're meditating with safety glasses on, why? The wind irritates my eyeballs. 